Hi, it's me again. I haven't been on screen for such a long time. Time has just flown by. Yes, I'm in the bedroom because James is watching television downstairs. So, forgive me if it's not super duper tidy, but that's what it is. It's just a quick catch up. 2023, I can't believe it, and I haven't done a just me talking episode with whips and so on for ages. Well, at the moment, I have no whips going right now, but remember, oh, this was quite a long time ago when I was going to do the prayer shawl. Well, I can tell you this, I had five goes at it. I made it bigger, I made it longer, and I got to the edging. And as soon as I got to edging row number seven, it went skew with. I couldn't work out why one half of the shawl was sort of on point, as in the pattern was correct, and then the other side was not correct. I just could not work it out. So, yesterday I spent two hours unraveling it. Here's my shawl. <laughs> I got fed up with it. I gave it five good goes of unraveling it, ribbing, frogging it up, that border. Um, and I just, you know, by the time I had done it five times, trying to get it right, I couldn't even be bothered to look for a different border, you know, to work out, count all the stitches, because there were many, many stitches well over 900 stitches in the end now i couldn't i didn't want to sit there and count them all up to work out a new border i just couldn't be asked so i've ripped it up no more shawl it's gone <laughs> but i have done a swatch okay i made a small little swatch here okay of this yarn and this is done on a five millimeter needle and it's five stitches per inch and i think i'm going to make a dress of it instead so i've drawn up drawn up a sort of a diagram that's what i'm going to do with that so now to finished objects right there's been a few since. I've given quite a few away, smaller things like hats. Hats I've given quite a few away. I've given away a couple ponchos. Um, and let me think. I've given hats. Oh yeah, I've given away two shawls as well. Smaller shawls. More was a mm, neckerchief rather than a shawl anyway. So... These have been all finished this um, December and January. So and I'll start with the oldest first. That is this poncho. I don't know if I showed it to you or not. I can't remember to tell you the truth. Now, where's the... Oh, here we go. So this poncho. Let me just move this around because that's in the way. So there we go. So that's a waffle stitch with a high collar, super warm in Aran. And this is so, 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 so warm. Um, the only thing I wish I had done is instead of making it a poncho, make it a cape like I originally had planned. Um, yeah, I had planned it actually as a cape and I ended up doing a poncho anyway. I love this, it's worked out super well and it's fabulously warm. Then the next one I did was using up quite a bit of yarn that I had around is this jacket. Well, I can actually put it quickly on so you can get an idea. There we go. And I'll come up close because I made all the buttons, the irregular shaped. I haven't quite honed in how to get them all the same size because they're all homemade. 
some crochet made and I won't butt some down because it takes quite a while to button but here we go with with puffy sleeves and I did a rib at the bottom this is the back wait and if I move the camera go like that and walk a bit further away okay there we go and as I said I used up quite a bit the only thing and I don't want to say I regret it but the green part doesn't quite show up as much as I would have liked. This shows up a lot more than the green part. And I wanted actually more green in there. But hey ho, that's what it is. So that was the next one that I was super glad to do because I needed a jacket that was not was warm but not quite so warm. Um because with all the airing holes I can wear this inside and out so that was the next jacket and then I did this for Christmas and now okay not the dress I didn't do the dress but I did do the let's call it a coat okay so now turn this round so, and this is not exactly a hood, but it's more of a collar. You can use it as a hood. I put a drawstring in so one can use it as various things. And it's super long, as you can see. So that's the back of it. And it's square. So this is crochet. Um, let me go back to the front end show you the long line like that and show you the sleeves it's falling off because it needs a body really in here and the sleeves what I did there was a balloon sleeve with a long um, rib arm so that it's only puffy at the top in case I've got something a puff blouse or something underneath it but I also wanted to show you this now I don't know how I'm going to be doing okay now you see it squares off down here at the bottom yeah so once it's on the body the squares off really nicely in the front and then when you turn it round it'll just give that nice square back at the end so it looks like just like a long coat yeah can you see that so that was the next project uh, there we go and put you back here so that I can stand up and talk to you and so and then the last project I've done was this skirt I haven't worn it yet okay it's a very long one it's ankle length all I did was I knitted in a an elastic I haven't sewn it up because I think I need to get an, a different elastic this might not be strong enough this has been blocked though and the bottom I just did the bottom so it doesn't roll in seed stitch so just a plain and simple skirt right those are my finished objects that's what I've been busy with December and January I had a long hiatus of knitting and crochet I haven't done much for ages hair still growing I will be doing most probably a little catch up on that as well um, not sure whether it's going to be this week or next week and yeah that's what I've been doing nothing much more than that busy doing a lot of other things you know Christmas is always busy anyway so let's see how I get on I've got a few other little things I want to do maybe a little bear I need some new socks I'm running out of socks I've only got now 
one, I think I've only got, let me see, here's my sock basket. Well, I've got my, my Scottish ones, the Danoon ones, I still have those. I don't wear them that often because they're not hard wearing. So I still got those. Um, and my first ever ones, these ones, they're still about. But as you know, these were the ones with the tie-up. I haven't worn them for a while. Um, but they should last forever. Because they're of really strong nylon. Uh, they're made of nylon th thread wool with a lot with a high percentage of nylon in. Um, I don't I need to think of something what you call it now you know with the satin ribbon because I think I most probably got to make a like a garter holder for that which would hold better because some the socks do slip down um, right let's see which other ones have I still got hand knitted ones one pair left um, so I need to get going need to get going on the socks <laughs> so it was lovely to speak to you again 2023 happy new year to you all it's well it's already the second week into January isn't it now I can't believe how quick time goes so I'll speak to you soon and I'll hope to make more regular videos again before you ask, I'm not going to be doing any shaving videos. Um, do more just talking, just me talking, or anything can happen. And maybe the, I don't know, tutorial, I won't have time to do tutorials. Actually, on the subject tutorials and socks, I thought I had put up a video on because I distinctly remember recording it on the moccasin toe afterthought heel with special tips um, of sock knitting but I don't know maybe I'm just stupid and I can't find it or it's been deleted I don't know what's happened there so if you're interested that I do do one because I'm, I'm going to be doing sock knitting and I must say it's been now what I think the last sock I knitted was actually in 2019 so that was the lockdown or before the lockdown even so it's been a little while I'm a little bit out of practice but I think after I've done my first pair my muscle memory will come back again um, on how to do that because I, that is my favorite um, moccasin toes my favorite because it's strongest for me because I walk a lot and that's just a lot sturdier than the normal and I like the afterthought heel because then I can rip it out and maybe replace it if I have to although I have not found a method yet and I'm working on that too how not how to get it out that's the easy bit but then how to collect the stitches up from the body um, once you've worn the socks a few well a few hundred times <laughs> after a year or so um, I did try it with one pair and it just did not work out the the wool was so tight by then the stitches had gone so tight and so you know to pick them up would have been a nightmare uh, I did try it before I threw them out. So I'm still working on that whether I can maybe if I have a I have a thing in mind or a trick in mind how I maybe can do that. Um, I'll let you know. So that's it for today. See you. Loving you and leaving you. And I'm happy to be back. Bye bye.